Cleanup efforts are underway after nearly four inches of rain fell in a matter of minutes in metro Atlanta. Yeah, the flooding left cars and people and even buildings underwater. And one of those, a dorm at Clark Atlanta University. Check out the video. It's gone viral. It shows the floodwaters turning hallways <clears throat> into rivers, forcing students to evacuate. University says they are relocating students and, yes, working on repairs. In Michigan, a jury has acquitted three men in the last trial connected to the 2020 plot to kidnap Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. They were found not guilty of providing support for a terrorist act and a weapon charge. They were the last of 14 men to face charges in state or federal court. In connection to the plot, nine others have been convicted. Happy trails when you're sloshed in the saddle. A guy got a DUI while riding a horse in Cali. The horse, after the bus, still needed a way home, so the officer got creative, held on <laughs> to the lead while driving very slowly. If you're wondering, but he wasn't driving a car or she, whoever got the Dewey. Well, according to California Vehicle Code, the road rules apply, whether you're riding an animal or behind the wheel. Okay, well, a loose lemur sent police on a wild chase. This is in Missouri. Take a look at this video. The pet running amok, forcing officers and some passerbys to join in on this race. Officers refused to throw in the towel, and guess what? They eventually caught the ring-tailed runaway. The lemur was taken to animal control. Lemurs are illegal to have in most states. The owner ended up surrendering it. Let's go to Washington State, where a crew made an interesting discovery. Six kittens in a brand new building. They were conducting a safety check, and they heard some very loud meowing. That's the yeah. after. They cracked open a drywall, and there were the tiny kittens. They are at a humane society and ready to be adopted. I am happy that they found them. And what about this? A dog in Michigan deciding that he doesn't belong in the shelter. He's escaped. Get this three times in a year. And every single time they find him in the same place. So sleep on the couch in a nearby long-term care facility. Eventually, the facility decided if Scout wanted to be there so badly, might as well just take him in nice. officially. They adopted the pup who is now considered part of the staff. Love that story. That All is right. cool. Today